Why should you speak your truth in business as well as in life? Stay tuned to find out. What is up? What is up? What is up, my dark horse friends and family? Welcome back to your ongoing dose of moral strengthening learning. I'm your dark horse host, Tracy Brinkman. All right, so this weekend I attended an amazing event with a number of folks that uh, it was really all centered around, ah, what do we say? I want to use the correct word so the episode doesn't get dropped off any of the platforms. Let's just call it the phrase medical freedom, okay? Now, no matter where you stand on this topic and the impetus for this topic, I think we can all agree that uh, we should have a choice of what procedures, operations, chemicals that are placed into our bodies, into our temples, as many religions call it. And it wasn't so much, and I'm not going off any kind of political rant here, but it just listening to all these folks share their stories, their experiences that they've gone through. And I'm talking about some highly qualified, highly qualified with letters after their names, um, running departments for medical organizations, making appearances before the Senate, um, having audiences of millions of people. These are the kind of folks who I was listening to uh, this past weekend share their truth. And, and that, that made me think about, you know, so much has been going on of late that so many of us, so many of you, out there have become more and more reluctant to speak your truth, right? And it may not just be the things that have happened over the past couple of years. It could be things that have happened in your life or in your business or in your relationships that have just caused you to retract from your truth. And I'm not talking about any universal truths out there like that sun is going to come up every damn morning and it's going to go down every damn night. I'm talking about your truths. The truths that you have personally experienced and gone on in your life that have helped you form the character, become the person you are today, and have set you on the path that you're currently walking. Now, for many of you listening to this podcast, speaking your truth, yep, it's it's not a problem. You have the ability to do that. Some of you, however, may be newer listeners, or maybe there's one of my passionate fans out there that has a truth or multiple truths that you're reluctant to own. And sometimes speaking the truth isn't all about putting the words out there to those around you. Sometimes speaking your truth is owning it yourself. Because when you don't own your own truth, I think that's when we really start to feel the pains uh, that can be afflicted upon us by imposter syndrome. Because you're being an imposter to the one person that you have to look at in the mirror every single day. And that's you. Speaking the truth, they say, will set you free. It's speaking the truth will help you avoid pretending to be someone you're not. And you can stop having to adjust to all the patterns that are going on out there in the world because you're you. Right, And you know me, you've heard me say it a gazillion times, you'll hear me say it a gazillion more. Be you. And here's the other thing that comes around about that. I think in the process of being you and speaking your truth, you are intentionally or perhaps unintentionally inspiring so many others to do the same, which is why you'll always hear me saying, be yourself because I'm hopeful that I can click someone over that precipice to be themselves. And, and it, it, this is not some selfish mission um, set upon for personal gain. 
right? It's not I'm out here making all kinds of money from this podcast or the messages I'm sending out. No, no, this is in the hopes of igniting some spark, giving some light within someone else so they can go out there and be honest and be real with who they truly are as a person, as their creator had intended them to be and as the person they desire to be. Now, let me, let me expand just for a moment here on what speaking your truth means to me because I've been engaged in relationships with folks that use the truth as a tool for damage, right? Well, what I'm telling you is the truth. Well, yeah, you're right. What you're saying is the truth. However, Maybe the moment you decide to say that specific piece of truth is hurtful, all right? So for me, speaking your truth means you're being true to who you are. Whether that, well, it's not whether, uh, it, it, that encompasses everything, right? Your feelings, your opinions, your morals, your standards, right? How you expect to be treated and how you think others should expect to be treated. Now, here's the thing with that. It's your truth. Because you think other people should be expected to be treated a certain way doesn't mean that's their truth. So you can share your truth and someone can say, you know what, I, I hear what you're saying, but I don't agree with it. Okay, that's fine. It's not their truth. Don't hide what you feel for the sake of someone else's approval of you. It just, it doesn't work that way and it shouldn't work that way but i think the way it should work and really if we're honest with each other it's the way it does work you should say true to your opinions and your voices no matter what anyone else may think now let's put in a quick disclaimer here if your opinions and your voices are in a aligned in such a way that other people are caused direct harm. I'm talking about bodily harm, right? Then perhaps you might want to reevaluate them. But I'm imagining that the type of person that would listen to this show on an ongoing basis, that's not where you align, right? And sometimes being true to your opinions and those voices within inside you is a little easier said than done. Especially over the last couple of years where your truth may be, you know what? I'm not doing that because I don't believe in it. For whatever reason that you don't honestly believe in it. It's getting, in some cases, a little more difficult to speak that truth. So, this weekend, being in a room full, and when I say a room, it was a big room. There was easily, easily... 300, maybe it was 500, I don't want to exaggerate, I want to be honest as possible, of folks that believed at one level or another this same truth, these same truths about the topic that was going on over the weekend that, that I mentioned. And so it was this, there was this amazing energy to be amongst all these people that had this like belief, uh, clearly from various backgrounds, range, uh, all up and down the social scale, um, across uh, various areas of my great state of Wisconsin. And I think some of them probably even came from outside the state. And I think the last piece uh, of sharing your truth is you want to do it no matter what. Now you want to do it respectfully, right? I think so many people avoid sharing their truth in order to avoid conflict and tension. And here's the thing for me, all right? There's those times when you just need to speak your truth. And when you do, with respect, right, in... um a civilized manner. You'll never regret it. It will help you reflect your courage, your bravery. And here's the other thing. How about this? Your integrity to yourself as well as to those you're speaking with. Huh? If you're able to speak your truth, you're being honest with yourself. And if you can be honest with yourself, then being honest with others becomes so much easier. 
So let's share some reasons, right, why you should speak your truth. That's what the topic of this episode is. It's why you should speak your truth. I think the first and foremost is you're going to feel this peace within you. Because when you're in tuned and staying true to who you are, whether it's, again, your opinions, your thoughts, your beliefs, your standards, how how you expect to be treated by others, how you're going to treat them, you're generally going to be at peace in your life, right? You don't have to worry about not speaking to someone or how you're going to avoid saying this or that or feeling that uncomfort when they say something that you just do not believe in, right? Because you're going to have this confidence that you are being yourself and they know that. And I think the next thing is, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you're going to inspire some folks. When you speak your truth, you're inspiring others to do the same, right? They don't have to agree with you 100%, but they can go, hmm, okay, I don't agree with that 100%, but I get it. Here's what I think, and then they share their truth. Now, here's the thing. It's not always easy to speak up, especially in a world that wants to clamp down your voice in just about every way possible out there from tech to physically shutting you up um, however it may be but here's the thing by speaking your truth again you're influencing others and i want to remind you please do it with clearly good intentions i think another reason here we're going to go on is it helps you overcome fear all right and what is fear right it's false evidence appearing real. Hmm. Now, if you're not already the kind of person that's out there speaking your truth, I'm going to say the first times, uh, the first few times, it's going to be a little difficult. Right? Uh, let's be honest. Because you're probably got those fears, right? Just, they're just nipping away at your strength at your ability to share your thoughts, to articulate your passions. And you know, you're gonna be just peppered with these fears and anxieties. However, when you finally succeed in sharing who you are and what you believe in and what you're passionate about, you'll begin to strengthen that ability right of speaking your truth and you'll begin to overcome those fears and you'll become stronger than the fear itself and here's the other thing let's use this fear to your advantage let's flip this fear to what if i never get to share how i feel what if i never find that one perfect person for me because i haven't shared with those um thinking occur considering becoming intimate with on what's valuable to me so they don't learn about me as a person and I don't learn about them as a person let's flip that fear to the other side of the fence and say well, what if I don't huh? Huh? when you're focused on sharing your truth with others that stops giving away the control to the fear and it stops giving away to the control to what others may think about you I think another reason, and I just, it almost, I almost picked it, in it right there, is uh, open. Your, you want to open your heart. Look, I get it. This world has got all kinds of craziness going on. So some very passionate groups out there that you may not agree with. There may be some passionate folks out there that are chipping away at your voice, and all of this is making you just kind of close up. You're like, good God, I'm just not going to say anything, right? But when you flip the script and you open your mouth and speak your truth, your honest, heartfelt, deep-seated beliefs, you open your heart with that honesty and that transparency and, let's be honest, the vulnerability, right? This gives your heart to others and it reminds them and the world they don't have to be so damn harsh. They don't have to be so flippin' cold, 
right? They can open their hearts too and we can exchange thoughts truthfully. And in doing so, and I mentioned this earlier, you begin to get braver, right? And I think this bravery is shown most when you have the nerve to stand up, when you have the nerve to speak up, when you have the nerve to open your heart to those that are around you, even when it's not convenient, right? Um, my daughter, or not my daughter last year um, when she went into college had a bad experience with a professor. Uh, and I'm talking about one of those experiences that has altered her, her collegiate life. She stepped away from the college as a result of this experience. And she has gotten up in front of an audience of complete strangers on a number of occasions and shared that story. She's opened up her heart, opened up that experience. And it, it helps other people, A, understand what's going on out there. B, understand how it's impacting youth. Uh, the, the folks that, you know, they may have forgotten who they are. You speak to an audience of 70, 60 and 70 year old folks, and they're going, oh my God, it's something my grandkids might be going through, or my great grandkids may be going through, which will, I think, cause them to have dialogues with them. Say, is this happening in your world? And which then in turn inspires those children to say, well, yeah, how did you know? So you can see it may not impact that person you're talking to directly, right? From a situation standpoint. However, they're going to be thinking, oh, wait a minute. I know someone that might be going through that. And then they can go engage them. Now you've opened up the heart of the person that went out and engaged them and hopefully open up the heart of the person that they engage. Ah. Your bravery compounded regularly. And that leads right into the next one right here is your truth. Speaking your truth will make an impact, right? You make the impact on the person that heard you and the person that that person that heard you goes and speaks to, right? On top of that, if we use the example of my daughter, right? So they go and speak to their grandkids. Is this going on in your school? And they ask and they open up and they're like, well, you shouldn't be standing for that. So it, it, you're making an impact by speaking your truth and it helps you just become real let's be honest right how many fakers are out there come on if you're a regular listener of a show like this or you know or this show just this one little boy itself you're not listening to any other podcasts are you <laughs> right there's nothing more admirable than someone who's authentic they're just being real and I think, you know, it's this this word, hey, let's be authentic, and let's be real, is getting a bit of a um, overuse, right? So I almost don't want to use it, but it, how else do you say it? You can tell the folks that you're listening to or you're engaging with if they're being true to themselves with you, right? And you can tell those that are just kind of using it as a talking point right they're being uh, they're putting on the mask of authenticity how about that that's a good way to put it when you speak your truth there's a version of your story that's yours and no one else's however they can connect with that version of your story and place themselves in that or take a piece of your story and say oh wow i experienced something very very similar to that and quite often you'll hear people will say i experienced that exact same thing in a completely different situation huh right you're not out there to impress anyone you're out there to help you're just out there to share your story in the hopes that you can help them and you're speaking up from a position of just being real and honest and being you i don't want you to go out there and talk like me i don't want you to go out there and take my story and make it yours i want you to get out there like me and use your story like i have and empower others and and inspire them and hopefully get them to speak their truth and let, let's go back to those 
folks putting on those masks of authenticity for a moment. Uh, can you imagine how they feel when they lay their head on the pillow at night? And I know some of them don't have feelings. That, you know, Of course, I'm passing judgment. And I probably shouldn't do that, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, I want you to save yourself from the trouble. Pretending to be someone else or speaking up or or not speaking up. Let's, let's, let's go there. Not speaking up with your thoughts and your opinions won't do anyone any good, right? If you're pretending to be someone you're not, you're really not helping anybody. If you're not sharing your true story, your true self, your true thoughts and opinions, again, you're not helping anybody. And huh, you're chipping away at your own damn integrity in the process. And you're fueling that imposter syndrome that some of you may be fighting with. So, right, integrity is, for me, probably one of those most admirable traits. And you save yourself from getting into serious trouble when you stay real and you stay authentic. And you know what? I think sometimes there's those moments where being yourself means just walk away. Right? Maybe there's a conversation going on that you just don't believe in. And you're looking at the associates, friends, co-workers, and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with this. And as the conversation continues, guess what? You say, you know what? I'm going to excuse myself. And you get up and you walk away. There. You've been honest. You've shared your thoughts and opinions. And you've maintained your integrity in the process. And you've inspired others and empowered others to do the same. Because sometimes we've been a part of those conversations, right? You're like, I really don't like this. I almost feel like I need a shower after the conversation, right? And, but if you have the strength, right? And you have the integrity to speak your truth and say, you know, I, I, I don't think a conversation like this is doing any of us any good. Here's the other flip side to that. When you say those kind of things, right? You will be listened to. Maybe not that very moment. But over time, uh, you'll become known as someone that speaks their truth. And people will go to you for your advice and your opinions. Since they know that there might be others out there that aren't quite real. They know you're real. And they can take your word uh, for what it is. Because you speak your truth. And they'll have no reason to doubt you. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will empower you because those folks are starting to come to you. This courage will just begin to compound simply because you spoke your truth and you stood up for what you believe in. You'll gain this natural confidence and this built-in self-esteem when you start speaking for your truth. And I'm talking about everything in your life, in your relationship, in your business. Imagine, right? Here you go. Let's say you have a daughter and your daughter is dating someone who starts treating them in a certain way. I'm not talking about any of these. I'm not going to go into any of the extremes like they're beating them or something. Those, those are easy truths, right? But maybe they're just telling these stupid ass jokes about your daughter's sex, right? Or they're telling these stupid ass jokes about women, right? I've been in, we've all been in those, those conversations, right? Do you want your daughter to set the standard and take that? No. She should have the courage, right? And the ability to speak her truth. Say, you know what? This is not a good conversation to be in. I don't like this. You guys shouldn't be telling these kinds of jokes. Here's a great example. When I was younger, it was, well, I don't know if it's still popular, but I remember being in my teens and probably well into my 20s when cat calling when you're driving down the road to a pretty lady was acceptable. I never liked it. And I, if you were riding in my car or if I was riding in the car with you and you did that, you usually got punched in the shoulder. I'm like, shut the hell up, right? Like, she, like, oh, yeah, she wants to date you because you did that. Duh, you're an idiot for doing that. So, if you were, my, all my friends quickly learned that if they were in a vehicle with me, they did not do that. 
out of respect to not only my, me, but for themselves and for the young lady that there was that they looked at. And I think this spins right off into the next one, is that speaking your truth, um, uh, I've said integrity a whole number of times, right? It, this is this valuable moral and this core value. And it's so natural that, that it will be built up and strengthened as you speak your truth. So as you speak your truth, I think your morals improve, right? Just naturally. Because if you're able to reflect to yourself, to your loved ones, and to the world in general, who you are, right? Your morals are a part of who you are. So if you're able to accurately reflect to the world who you are, you're saying, this is what I believe in, these are my morals and these are my standards, don't you think they'll, they'll be enhanced a little bit, right? You're not chipping away at your self-esteem by not and by hiding what you think and how you feel, you're not chipping away at your integrity by nodding yes when someone says something you don't really believe in, right? Because you're not speaking your truth. Your morals will be built up as a result. Huh? Which I, I, I can't prove it, got no scientific facts, but it's just what I believe. I think in the big scheme of things, speaking your truth is, is so much bigger than you or me right um it, it impacts everyone around you and then it impacts a lot of the folks around them so if you genuinely want to leave a mark on your family on your life on your children on your potential prospects in your business right then you want to be remembered for that person with integrity, for that person that spoke their truth, for that person that respected others that spoke their truth as well. That, I think, will have a huge impact on you, your life, and your business. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell me what you think about speaking your truth. Maybe I missed something on you. Maybe you're sitting there thinking, oh, Tracy, you totally forgot about this, right? So, take a second. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. Uh, one way is you can go down to wherever you're listening to this from, and there'll be a ratings and comment section. Go down to the comments and leave a comment with your thoughts. What maybe, oh, Tracy, you totally missed this. You forgot about that, right? Or I think you're wrong in this area. And then share it with me. Or the other option is email me at Tracy at darkhorseschooling.com and share your thoughts. I mean, sincerely, share your truths that you'd like me to hear. And here's the thought. I would love just to get on an episode of this podcast and let's talk about this back and forth let's share your your truths hear my truths as a result and let's see where we can take this all right I, i'm looking forward to it all right you get out there you run your race you get your results and as i mentioned earlier you let me hear about them until next time think successfully and take action thank you for listening to the dark horse entrepreneur podcast and you know this Thanks for tuning in. Check us out at www.darkhorseschooling.com. All right. My name is Tracy Brinkman.